Thanks, Deputy. Good afternoon. Police were investigating a fatal crash at Salisbury South today. At about 11.45am on Monday the 4th of January, Northern District detectives saw a stolen white Ford Territory travelling at high speed south along Port Wakefield Road at Cavan being driven by a woman. Police engaged in a very brief pursuit with the vehicle, but due to the high speed it was travelling, that pursuit was almost immediately terminated and they lost sight of the car. The police helicopter Polair was activated in case of further sightings. About 10 minutes later, police received a report that a white Ford Territory and a truck had collided about 200 metres west of the intersection of Kings Road and Cross Keys Road, Salisbury South. Tragically, the truck driver, believed to be a 25-year-old man, died at the scene. The man's relatives have yet to be advised, so I can't give you any further details about him. After the, the crash, it's alleged the White Ford Territory left the scene without stopping. A few minutes later, police spotted a White Ford Territory with significant front-end damage on the Port River Expressway. Polair was called in to maintain observations of the vehicle as it continued to travel west to Port Adelaide. Polair saw the vehicle stop in a street in Taparoo where the female driver left the car and walked away. She was arrested nearby without any further incident. The 24-year-old woman is currently being detained and interviewed by police. The White Ford Territory was seized for forensic examination and it's been confirmed that this car was stolen from a Golden Grove address on the night of the 28th of December last year. Major crash investigators are investigating the collision and will be preparing a report for the coroner. Kings Road uh, has been closed for several hours. Police are also investigating a series of uh, serious offences that are linked to this car, which have occurred over the past 24 hours. For operational reasons, I can't provide further information about these incidents as the investigations are currently ongoing. However, we are asking anybody who witnessed the collision or has seen the vehicle in over the last few days to call Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. Investigators are also calling for any dash cam or CCTV vision of the collision or the White Ford Territory as it's been travelling around over the last few days. Was the pursuit this morning the first contact the police have had with the driver and the Territory? Yes, it was. And how long did that chase last? Um, a matter of seconds. The, the, the Ford Territory was travelling at high speed. Uh, the CIB car saw it um, and uh, realised there was just no hope of catching it, so they stopped and let it go. So after the collision, the female driver has sped off? That's right. Didn't, it didn't stop and sped off. And um, a 25-year-old male has, has died? That's correct. He was the driver of the truck. Did any police witness the accident? No. Police were, had uh, lost sight of the car some 10 minutes before the accident um, and then we received triple zero calls to say there had been a collision and police then attended straight away. So an innocent man's life has been lost? Tragically. Um, and this is clearly not the first time we've had serious accidents uh, involving uh, criminal offences. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm minded to, re to think about the fact that Kings Road is the same road um, where tragically another high-speed um, uh, collision occurred uh, involving a stolen car back in 2017. So in this case, this truck driver wasn't doing anything wrong, he was just going about his job, and do you, know, do you have any idea how the collision occurred? No, at the moment, uh, the investigators are still trying to piece that together. Um, we're, uh, that's why we're calling for witness to this. Uh, it was not observed by police. Um, all we know is that the Ford Territory has hit the, hit the truck and continued on and left, left the man there. Is there any indication of where the car hit the truck? I don't have that information, I'm sorry. Do you believe they're travelling in the same direction? Uh, again, I don't have that information. Uh, are you investigating if anyone else was involved in the theft of the car and any of the subsequent offending? Yes, we are. Um, we are very interested to, to uh, hear from any member of the public that has seen that car driving around. Uh, we have reason to believe that there were other people involved in it. Uh, unfortunately, I can't give you the details of, of, of that at the moment, um, but the matters uh, are quite serious and we're very keen to speak to all the occupants of that vehicle. This is quite devastating to hear that an innocent person has died, that they've lost their life. It's, it's a very sad and tragic loss and it was totally unnecessary. Um, I don't have that information. What, do you think other people were in the car when the crash happened today? We don't believe so. And what is the nature of the offending since the car was stolen? What, what, what's been done? 
Uh, I, I can't give you that information. All I can say is some, some, there are some serious criminal offences involved that we're trying to um, get to the bottom of at the moment. Have police received reports from members of the public about the manner in which the car was being driven before and after the crash? Uh, yes, we received a number of phone calls uh, from the community about this vehicle. What was the time between calling off the pursuit and when the collision happened? About, about 10 minutes. And how would you describe this woman's actions? Totally irresponsible. Um, nobody deserves to die uh, on the road when they're acting as uh, clearly as responsibly as the truck driver was, um, just going about his normal business. It's very tragic and unfortunate. And she hasn't been charged yet? No, she's still in, in detained uh, and being interviewed by police. Is this woman known to the law? Um, I, I don't have that information to, to give you, I'm sorry. Okay. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen.